just want to throw that out there. Well, earlier on the morning show, we got to see a performance from The King and I, and now with us is Angela Baumgartner, who plays Anna, the, the lead role in The King and I, which is uh, part of the FSCJ Artist Series Broadway tour. And this show is gorgeous. It's stunning. And for those who are not aware, it's been around for a minute or two, hasn't it? This it is has. a revival. It is. It is a revival. It's the Broadway revival. It's based on the Lincoln Center Theater production. Um, the re musical originally came out, um, I believe it was 1961. Um, wow. So this, and the story is based in 1860s. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a timeless story. It is timeless, and yet it carries that, well... The female empowerment part of it, too, yeah. is something that I think audiences, somebody surely said, this is what people want to see now. This is a story that women and families can get behind. Yes. So let's bring it back yeah. and let families experience it. And I know for a fact that there are a lot of a lot of kids went to see it last night. Do yeah. you think the draw there is that there are so many kids in the cast? Oh, there are so many adorable children in the cast. I love them. And like you said about female empowerment, Anna mm -hmm. is such a strong character, though. I play and she has such strong beliefs and um, such strength of character and she is there in Siam modern-day Thailand mm -hmm. and she's empowering the women there and she's she's so strong I think the only weak bone in her body is for the children and that's the same for me I love these kids and they are precious and they do a great job so much talent on that stage mm -hmm. too how many kids are in the cast we have six children that's amazing mm -hmm. because ordinarily when I when you see a show you know there might be one or two kids and I think they probably have to switch out for, mm -hmm. for whatever the, the rules are on that right. kind of thing but man this show is driven by that cast and we're seeing some just absolutely gorgeous video it was up on the screen a moment ago so the costumes is that something? They are stunning. The first time I tried them on, I told the costumer, these are beautiful. I'm ruined for anything less. Uh-huh. And, and you played Belle on, broad, on, the, on the touring Broadway show, right? I, not the touring. I did small bit in Alaska. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, those costumes, too, we've had a chance to see some of those behind the scenes, and they were tremendous as well. There are still seven opportunities for you to see The King and I, the Rogers and Hammerstein production that is happening here in town. And if you want to learn more about how to do that, fscjartistseries.org is where you will go to uh, see that. I have a couple of friends that actually went last night, and they said it was kind of a late night because it's a really substantial show. I mean, it's a big, it giant production. It is, and there are so many songs that you'll realize, oh, I actually mm -hmm. know that song. Like There's Getting so to Know You. Getting to Know You, I Whistle a Happy Tune, Something uh -huh. Wonderful, all these Rodgers and Hammerstein classics that are all packed into this beautiful musical. And, and as you said, I mean, you, you'll find yourself humming along and being like, how did I even know that? Exactly. How did I even know that song? Don't miss out on a chance to see The King and I while it's in town. Seven more performances, as I said. And fscjartistseries.org is where you can go for that and to see what the upcoming Broadway series has to offer as 